Doctor, when it comes to cancer, what are metabolic therapies? So the metabolic therapy that I hinted a little bit mm -hmm. relate to the specific metabolism of the cancer in relationship to the metabolism of the person. And this is now, I think, maybe the field of the greatest interest in oncology. People who are, who are seeing the future. And there's a lot of misunderstanding. It's not so simple. Because from my perspective, you have the general metabolism of the person as a whole. Are we more alkaline? Are we more acidic? Mm -hmm. We can be more alkaline in one tissue and more acidic in another tissue. Then we have the metabolism, the pH, in the environment around the cancer cells, in the, in the fibroblast, in the milieu around the cancer cell. And one person, Dr. Listani, who, publi who well published 350 papers, very well histologists and pathologists, have very interesting theories about the relationship between the extracellular environment of the cancer cell and the cancer cell, which is really not big news when we know it. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the environment of the cancer cell itself. And within the cancer cell, you've got the environment on the membrane level, where there's an exchange between the cell and the environment, the different pumps. You've got the cytoplasm, you've got the nucleus of the cell, and you've got the mitochondria. So people want to find one solution. You know, mm -hmm. one of my phrases that I will disclose here, which I hope to write a peer review article, will be called the cancer solution that cannot be found. An integrative approach to cancer therapy. Because there is not going to be one solution. So now when we go into the person, we know that cancer cells excrete lactic acid into the extracellular mm -hmm. fluid. The acidosis creates increase in growth factors, and that's how the cancer grows. It also creates inflammation. So there is truth to being on an alkaline diet. It definitely, because then you, the environment is less acidic, mm -hmm. and indeed, you know, the, the cancer will grow slower. But at the same time, you may want to manipulate the ex, uh, intracellular of the cancer cell in a very short period of time, in an acute phase, make it very acidic, make the oxidative stress very high, add to it heat therapy, add to it certain herbs, and add to it even chemotherapy. And so that, that you can see how different areas are happening at the same time. And in the clinic, we're doing a lot of very exciting work at the Amitabha Clinic. And the third part is you have to look at the, at the cancer cell, at the soldiers who are surviving, who are moving on, mm -hmm. and at the cancer stem cells, the origin of the cancer. And maybe when I talk about modified c 2 spectrum and galactin-3, I can give some theories about it. Mm -hmm. But what is so interesting about it, cancer stem cells are the survivors. When you give, let's say you give Taxol, common chemotherapy, to a tumor, when the tumor reappears, not only the percentage of the cancer stem cells is higher, but the absolute number. Mm -hmm. This is what creates resistance. So we want to prevent the cancer stem cells from, one, creating cancer originally, and preventing the metastatic process. And there are very specific pathways that do it. It's called mTOR1. One of the drugs that affects the mTOR1 pathway is metformin, the classical diabetic generic drug that causes pennies. If it was a patented drug, it would have been a multi-billion dollar now in every clinical trial. So when you give metformin, which poisons the mitochondria, with chemotherapy, with other therapies, you are addressing the cancer stem cells. Now, okay. honokiol, for example, which is a, an extract for magnolia officinalis, also blocks mTOR. So these are good combinations. All of this, when you give them with heat and with the right metabolism, you are changing the pH of the cancer mm -hmm. in relationship to the environment, and this is how you use simple tools to get a much, much more powerful uh, result. So I just gave you one angle, and modified it with spectrum comes into this. I just wanted to give you one a little bit more sophisticated and simple example mm -hmm. at the same time.